please tell me how you got the idea to make a, a movie inspired by the, the novel. Um, I, bonobos are real, and they apparently do um, use sex to resolve conflict. And they're one of the very few species that are, appear to be genuinely matriarchal. So I always found them really fascinating. And they, uh, unlike chimpanzees, for example, have a lot of rape and murder in their society like humans do, and bonobos don't. So I thought I wanted to find a way of putting them into a film. And originally it was all about a woman who was researching them. And then I had the idea of people actually uh, trying to live that way. And because they're middle-class British people, I thought it had to be a comedy. <laughs> um, because the British middle classes are not great at talking about sex or anything like that. Um, and then I always had the idea of the mother being the main character because I wanted it uh, to be someone who would initially feel kind of excluded by something like a hippie sex commune. And I wanted her to be the kind of way in for the audience and for, um, yeah, that to be her story to, to um, yeah, be center stage. Thank you. Great. Uh, me too. Um, she's she's really great, and she she's famous in England for a, a, a comedy a sitcom called Only Fools and Horses, um, which is a, was really popular in the nineties. But uh, she, you know, she, as happens to most actresses, she's got less and less work as she's got older. So I. She's you know has this amazing. That's the first lead role she's ever had in a film, and so yeah, I'm glad she got a chance to to be the star. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I will remember, I will remember that. <laughs> okay. I understand that you were the director. Were you the script writer as well? I, I was a co-writer. I had another writer, um, a woman, who helped bring... I wrote, I, I wrote most of it uh, for you know, several months by myself. Um, but actually, towards the end, it was originally about a mother and a son, and it didn't quite work. And then it was a little bit kind of Oedipal, and, um, and then I had this idea that it was it actually should be a mother and daughter, and then everything made sense. Um, and so, yeah, I had another writer came on board uh, late in the process and helped me out. Yeah. So English. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my first feature length. Like, I'd made some short films before this, but yeah. Good luck. thank you, thank you. Got a lot, Mark. More questions? I have a question. Um, usually, you know, I'm a filmmaker as well, and um, when people, when actors are reading the script and they see there is nudity and sex acts, uh, they really fear. It was easy to cast the movie because of, of, of the subject or the nudity? How, how, what, was, what was the response of the actors? Uh, I think some people, especially the actresses, when they heard that it was a, a young male director who wanted to make a film about a sex commune, they thought, oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> But then they, they read the script, and I think it's actually it's quite gentle and not yes. as much sex as people expect. Um, and the, the two main actresses, I, um, I said it was up to them. If they wanted to take off more clothes in that dream scene, they, they could. But they said they, said they didn't. Um, they thought it was more, you know, just wanted the affection and tenderness, which works, I think. Um, the main actor who's... Um, He's quite successful at the moment on British television, and he had 
um, you know, very particular clauses about which parts of him we could see and which we couldn't. So we had to edit that very carefully. But I think most people, they just, you know, they um, understood that it's not a film that's, you know, titillating, that's just there for nudity. So, yeah, that helped. And they were very brave. I wouldn't do it myself. <laughs> Um, I do. I think they they like it. Um, actually, this is the first gay film festival that we've been at, and a couple of others that we submitted to, they said that oh, it's not, it's not gay enough, or you know, they wanted it, and it's obviously not designed to be gay or straight. It's the whole idea. And at the end, I don't think Judith decides that she's a lesbian. It's more that she just you know realizes that there is more on her spectrum of desire than she acknowledged before. So uh, for that reason, it, I was really pleased that, I mean, yeah, Yaya invited us um, and didn't mind that it didn't fit in one box or another box. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, so it's mostly been at mainstream festivals and people people seem to enjoy it. Some people say, oh, why doesn't, why doesn't Judith stay at the end or is she going to see Anita again? But I wanted to leave it open because it's it's more about her what she's, you know, taken for herself. I didn't just want it to be a message that, like, it's okay if you find a partner. It's more about her being happy in herself. So maybe now she's happy she'll go back on the odd afternoon. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yes. In this British, uh, I've been living in England for a long time. It's really very restrictive, oppressive, middle class. I live in Hampstead. Okay. And I know <laughs> what uh -huh. you mean. Uh -huh. uh, Actually, it's the, the liberation. liberation of this woman and uh, one of the liberties of life is that actually the class the structure in England tell us how to live. Mm -hmm. And this is only the beginning of a road that uh, sex, in a way that you want to do, sex is nothing that one has to be afraid it's nothing for anyone to tell us how to do sex. We can be heterosexual, homosexual, or whatever. It's one of the signs of freedom. And I think by her uh, making jokes about her friend, this Italian woman, it was really the symbol of oppressive and uh, conformism. And our uh, daughter in the end uh, joined the Bonobo, mm -hmm. was really a victory uh, for the ideas of the movie, actually. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you thought that. I, li I just like to think that there now there's a sequel where Celia, yeah. the neighbor, comes to find her daughter, and it's even more <laughs> crazy. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But no go to. <laughs> Any more questions? Or Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank